Hold on, Robin. Frodo, look out! <laughs> ah, Frodo, I am in your debt. If you hadn't come along, I'd be a midnight morsel for that beast. I'm glad you're all right, Robin. We've not seen wolves for a hundred years. So I hear. Well, it's an ill omen. What could it mean? That I'd better get going. What? Oh, <laughs> right you are, Frodo. And I should get back on patrol. Yes, but tell the other sheriffs to watch for more dangers in the Shire. Yes, of course. I'm still shaking from that beast, you know. I have to go, Robin. Another Dark Rider. I must stay hidden. old sluggard. What kept you, cousin? Stop by the Green Dragon on your way out? Never mind why, but I can't stay. I have to leave right now for Crick Hollow. You mean Rivendell, and we're coming with you. You thought you were so clever, but our conspiracy outsmarted you. We know all about the Ring and the Dark Lord, so we're going to protect you. But how did you know? How could we not know? With you muttering, Will I ever see that valley again? You really have the Sackville Bagginses to thank. 
I was practicing sneaking up on Bilbo one day when he heard Lotho calling after him. Bilbo put on the ring and vanished. We kept our eyes open after that. We spied on you and Gandalf. How? Well, through our chief conspirator. Until he got caught. And Gandalf did say, take those as you can trust. It seems I can't trust anyone. You can trust us to stick with you to the bitter end. We've kept your secret better than you did. But you can't trust us to let you face danger alone. Even though we're horribly afraid, we're coming with you. Or following after like hounds. Dogs! No, Sam. Hounds! Maggots! Dogs! They're coming! Rip! Fang! Woof! Come on, lads! They're an old maggot, too, by the sound of it. So much for stealing some mushrooms before we go. What's all this chatter at this hour of the night? Speak up! Good evening, Mr. Maggot. Well, if it isn't Peregrine Took. You're lucky I know you. I was about to set my dogs loose. The most outlandish fellow rode through here, asking strange questions. Here, who's that with you, Pippin? You remember Mary Adduck Brandybuck. Allow me to introduce Samwise Gamgee and... Frodo Baggins. Uh, good to see you again, sir. Baggins. Now, isn't that strangest of all? What do you think that stranger was asking about? He came riding up on a black horse in black cloak and hood, and he asked for Baggins. Oh, that would be a different Baggins. I told him all the Bagginses are in Hobbiton. He says Baggins is heading east on foot, and now Frodo Baggins shows up on my farm. The same Frodo Baggins who was one of the worst young rascals around, I might add. Frodo's... Much better behave these days. Where are you headed? To my new home in Crick Hollow. I can see you're in trouble, Frodo. You should never have gotten mixed up with those strange Hobbiton folk. I wager that outlander has come for the gold Bilbo brought back from foreign parts. Well, I think it's time we were going. No, he'll be waiting. You will ride out in my wagon, hidden from sight. Thank you, sir. It's a pity I've been in terror of your dogs. I've missed a good friend. Indeed! Shall we go now? I'm ready in the wagon. Farmer Maggot's wagon carried us safely away from his farm and into the borders of Buckland. But the Black Rider was still thundering along the East Road. We decided to go south and cut through the old forest. Mary had been in the old forest and knew a little of its ways. It's a dark, mysterious place, but not as dangerous as a Black Rider. Hello? Mary? of its own. Yeah. 
Oi! Frodo!
I never thought potatoes could smell so good. A good meal will definitely ease my mind about this place. But where is this place? Very close to the Withy Window Valley. But we shouldn't get any closer. Why not? The Withy Windle Valley is said to be the strangest part of the whole forest. The, the center from which all the strangeness comes, as it were. Can you lead us around the valley, Mary? I thought I could. But the way these trees shift about, I don't know. It's, it's like they're leading us there. Mary thought he knew his way around this forest. But how can anyone find their way when the forest won't stand still? Do you know one of those trees stuck a branch out at me? Nearly tripped me, it did. I'm sorry I led us into such a dangerous place, but... At least we've shaken off that black rider. Flies. Oh, I don't like this tree. I don't trust it. Hear it singing about sleep? That's not right. It's not right at all. We can't sleep yet. We must get clear of this place. Don't stop! Don't stop! Stop! Stop it! You'll squeeze me in two if you don't stop! Thank <laughs> you. 
you don't stop. Don't stop.
it! You'll squeeze me in too if you don't stop! There, little fellows. Where be you a going to, eh? Puffin like a bellows. What's the matter then? Come now, tell me what's your trouble. My friends are caught in that willow tree. Old man Willow? I know the rhyme for him. I'll chant his marrow cold if he don't behave himself. You let them out again, old man Willow. You should not be waking. Eat earth, drink water, go to sleep. Bombadil is talking. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Very much. Well, my little fellows, you shall come to the house of Tom Bombadil. Where? Time enough for questions around the supper table. Come now, and help Tom find lilies for fair Lady Goldberry. After that, we shall sit down to a table laden with cream 
honeycomb and white bread and butter. What are we waiting for? The sooner we find lilies, the sooner we can eat.
for the fair river daughter. Come, let us go to meet her. Come, dear folk, laugh and be merry. I am Goldberry, daughter of the river. Here's my Goldberry. You are still afraid, perhaps, of mist and tree shadows. Fear nothing, for tonight you are under the roof of Tom Bombadil. Who are you? Eh, hey, what? Don't you know my name? It's the only answer. For who are you without your name? But you are young and I am old. Eldest, that's what I am. Tom was here before the river and the trees. Tom remembers the first raindrop, the first big people, and the first little people. He was here before kings and barrel whites, before the elves passed westward, and before the seas were bent, before the Dark Lord came from outside. His precious ring has no power over Tom Bombadil. And now, merry friends, it is time for our supper. We ate our first good meal in a long time, singing songs and telling tales until late in the night. We slept peacefully and were refreshed enough to continue our journey. Keep to the green grass as you go, lads. Don't go meddling with old stone or prying into the houses of old dead barrowites. Here's a song to sing should you fall into any danger. Oh, Tom Bombadil, Tom Bombadil, oh, by water, wood and hill, by the reed and willow, oh, by fire, sun and moon, hearken now and hear us. Come, Tom Bombadil, for our need is near us. Thank you, Tom Bombadil. Speed now, fair guests. North with a wind in the left eye and a blessing on your foot. 